É aí a Okay, the cup thing is finished, I guess. I don't know. So, uh, what do I do? Snowy Mountain Lab, exploring the survivors. Another cup thing. Okay, a child is playing with toys. She must be the boss. A cheetah. Okay, it was not a toy, it was a headband and a thing. Your Majesty. Okay, Queen Alicia. Queen of Phantom Falls, what in the morning. Love one, I am Sigibiri and I'm back with another episode of Undone Gameplay and I am really sorry that I'm late, I am not gonna be doing any more promises and I will just keep uploading as much as possible, nothing else. So let's get back into the video without any more delay. So we have been transported here and uh, we have seen a cutscene that uh, does not uh, answer many things but uh, that was also like arises much more question about what is going to happen and what is happening. So we have no crystal clear uh, answers or like concept about what is going to happen and where are we, but uh, we are starting the King of the Underworld, Underground, sorry, main mission with so many questions. And we are going to the Ark, talk with Yvan, I guess. Okay, go find Alicia. Where is, where is that? This way? No, not this way. Okay, it is this way. Got it. Okay, so we are finding Alicia. Oh, no, she's not Alicia. Go in, the queen is waiting for you. Got it. Okay. There she is, Alicia. Ah, you're here. Did something happen? The Reavers have captured this suspicious individual who claims to be a former Venus researcher. He insists on meeting a former Venus researcher. How could someone like that show up at Tungsten Falls at a time like this? Managing a place like Tungsten Falls isn't as simple as you might think. Problems don't just solve themselves. There's always issues, and people whose backgrounds you can't quite figure out. 
the claims to have something that I might be interested in, and I do want to see what he's got. We're about to start his interrogation. You might as well listen in. Okay, so we are going to interrogate this fella, and uh, this fella looks interesting. Uh, I mean, this fella looks interesting, but uh, I don't know. Let's see what he has to tell us. We can begin now. My name is Hue. Hue or Hue, I don't know what is the pronunciation of that. A former Venus researcher involved in project Prometheus. The clowns kept me chained up like a dog for a long time, hoping I would make explosives for them. So I think attacking the clowns may have uh, actually, you know, a butterfly affected or like made a chance for Huey. I'm just calling, calling Huey. So Huey to make an escape or something like that. Maybe I have done that. I have started that kind of a chain reaction. Maybe. I don't know. But, but that female officer is the devil itself. She takes pleasure in people's screen, torturing me to the point where I wish I was dead. But I, curve, but I crave to leave so I took the chance to escape. But I still can't shake off the clown's pursuit. Now I'm at my wit's end, and my only option is to seek refuge with Queen. You're saying that you are a researcher who got him a fight, managed to escape from a group of clowns, from the one who had you imprisoned and brutally tortured, and then so happened to stumble your way into my temple. They hit a snag when trying to, ca uh, trying to craft a new type of bomb and asked for my technical expertise. They, uh, they said that they'll, cry, they'll treat me better once the job is done. But I knew they weren't going to honor their word. Actually, uh, Elysia is, uh, you know, arising, uh, not arising. She is asking the right questions, and her doubt is actually kind of uh, logical. That's what I was trying to say. And uh, Hue is giving a uh, normal explanation, not something too much of uh, extraordinary. Like it's not like you cannot trust or like you cannot believe what he's saying. But also, it is tough to believe that a man with no uh, fighting ability escape from the clown because we know how like ferocious the clowns are. So I just helped them pick two substances that would react violently and release salty gas when mixed together. As I expected, the mixture triggered a huge explosion at the clown's main camp, where large amounts of explosions were sold and I managed to escape into chaos. I know if I get caught again this time, I'll die so I can only place my hope on you, Queen of Kankin Assuming what you say is the truth, you can't possibly think I'll risk of holding the clown just to protect you. I don't need you to make bounce for me. Okay? That is a good uh, reason not to help this Huey guy. Of course, there's no such thing as a free meal in this world. So do I... So I, I do have something to offer. Okay? On my way here, I saw a tungsten pole that was different from the busting district that I'd heard about. Those shops, garbage piles that have been rummaged through and injured people everywhere, you need to respond to. Perhaps I can help alleviate, alleviate some of your worries. Gone. Before the, before the disaster struck, the Federation secretly sold a batch of emergency supplies to ensure the smooth progress of the project from its use. The information on the supplies are sold computers of a research facility in a particular area and cannot be brought out. Only some of the high-ranking personnel knew I was one of them. I estimate that these supplies can last and for six months. I want to exchange that for the Raver's protection. Okay, so the, this Hugh guy is actually raising also some good uh, options or like vice versa stuff like he's offering a uh, good uh, amount of uh, value for his protection in my opinion but I don't know if we can trust this guy or not because as you can see this guy looks kind of shady and his smile is really menacing so 
I don't know if we should trust him or not. Alicia, surely you don't think I will believe in faith things. That is true. That's what I was trying to say. I understand that you have doubts about my claims, but the Tanksing Court isn't going to let you just miss the opportunity to get a branch of this course. You don't have to believe me. The worst case scenario is that I'll leave and continue to be on the run, and the Tanksing Court will get destroyed after. This benefits neither of you. She reached for the gun on her waist. No, you're wrong about one thing. The worst case scenario is that I think you're playing me. Then you will be living your life here at Tanksing Court. I'll have to find a new source of supply. He frowns at her actions and even don't know. Alicia, trigger thing. I need to see these supplies myself. I doubt. I don't doubt you, but I don't think I can tell you more about the supplies until my safety is granted. This is my last chance after all. She falls silent, thinking for a moment. Fine. I, Alicia, swear, uh, swear on my word that you will not come to any harm during your stay at Tanking Hall. Okay? He raises an eyebrow, showing a faint, unusual smile. All right, we have a deal. You can now reveal the location of this facility, right? Another research facility for Project Prometheus is located in a secret passage in the river. I will mark the exact coordinates on the map before you set up. Okay, either this guy's playing us or he's telling the truth, but that is quite a tough choice to make, in my opinion, because if what he said about the Tanks and Ford situation is really true, then Alicia has actually, has actually no other choice but to believe him. Let's move forward. Since you claim to be a member of Project Prometheus with Venus, where did you conduct your research at that time? Before the before the disaster struck, most of the flare crystal research for the Prometheus was conducted on all its isles. However, then it also established research facilities in other areas where flare crystals were active. I was told that she even mentioned something you didn't know. How are you going to prove that you were a researcher involved in Project Prometheus? To my knowledge, the Human Modification Project 200 and Healthy that was technically supported by Venus Medical used clear crystals to radiate the human body. Before the disaster broke out, a blood test sample obtained from the astral tower showed that the concentration of clear particles was far higher than the controllable value of 3.5. Uh, I don't know what the sign is per liter. I don't know what is that. Uh, I got what is called, but this is a uh, unit of some kind of uh, liquid, I don't know, maybe density, maybe this is the unit of density, I don't know. By current known data, that means zombification is near. Although I haven't heard about, uh, sorry, I haven't heard anything about astral power since the outbreak, I can assure you definitely hell over there now. Okay, maybe I, I, I missed the previous dialogue, sorry for that, I just pressed twice maybe. As someone who has previously investigated the astral tower, you know he is uh, right on the money. Actually, I have always wondered, with that many talented researchers, why didn't anyone realize the potential dangers very quickly, even before the disaster struck? Unfortunately, it really isn't like that, really it isn't like that. When I was conducting related research in the underground research facility, I heard there was a scientist who was adamant in opposing the conduct of continued research. As a result, he was ostracized by researchers in support of continued research. His career was ruined overnight. That was Dr. Zitan, and I respect him greatly. He knew full well that the road he had to work was uh, work on. Pony. Yet he went on without hesitation. Not everyone can do this. Dr. Zeton was an outstanding scientist. Venice was not interested in the scientific truth. Indeed, if they did care, none of this would have happened. 
he was without a doubt a hero who could save the war. He recalled what he witnessed as a trace of regret flickering, of flickers in your eyes. Not bad. Perhaps people like you should go and visit the places. What do you mean? Go where? You become cautious. I've already said what I know, and there should be no mistakes in my answers to you. I'm tired now, so I say we do the quick Q&A session tomorrow day. Alicia, call the reverse over and to Kiwi to sell. Okay, so actually there are some things that I have noticed and that uh, till now we don't know anything about the protagonist that we are playing, his past, like where he came from and like who is he to be honest, like what is, what is his lineage or where he was living before, uh, you know, going into the Raven's shelter. So I don't know about that. We don't know anything about that. And there is something I think that you guys know about protagonist. So we will definitely know about that in the near future, I guess. So till now, let's hope for the best. Okay. You still remember the conditions proposed by the Council Force when they opened the temporary residential area and provided supplies for the Ravens, right? Of course I do. We promised that if the Thompson folks ever needed our help, we would be ready to assist at any time. And you know how complex the sewer system is. Many parts of this uh, of the is unexplored, and some factions have also quietly taken root there. Unfortunately, the Thompson folks lack supplies and manpower, so we don't have enough people sent for this mission in the sewers. The supply shortage issue at Tanks Port is serious. We need to secure new sources of supplies soon. You're saying you need the Ravens to reach for the unknown and venture into the sewers to search for supplies. The man, the man of Eden exists. There's no Ravens or Reavers in this situation. We all need supplies. Given the current situation, the Ravens will need these supplies too. Heading into the unknown is a risk, but it's running out of supplies and dying before even trying. I am frowning. She straightens up and adjusts her clothes. Now it's time for the Ravens to fulfill the agreement. I request that the Ravens venture into the dangerous and complex sewers. I can't decide it on my own. Uh, decide on myself. I'll have to discuss with Kane. I believe Kane will understand. And that is the problem, because Kane will definitely tell me to go in there alone that he is a big problem. And also, why it is always me? Just send me someone, like, send me someone, send someone else, or like, send a team with me, so that I can, like, you know, relax a little bit. It's always I have to fight, fight. It seems that Ken isn't here. Let's just next door. Ask Sherry where Ken is. Got it. You're here for Kane, aren't you? He's out at the moment. Could you lend a hand in the business? Of course I do. I'm free always. Okay, where, where, why are there so many new patients here? The situation is transport is dire due to the steward system of supply, leading to a surge in diseases, cases of anemia due to hunger, as well as organ failure from the long-term dehydration are everywhere. We can't accommodate all the patients not even a third of them. What's worse in the lack of medicine, which means a minor wound can be treated promptly and can lead to necrosis, or even sepsis, the small mercy that we haven't seen any infectious diseases caused by the infection yet. All we can do is pray it stays that way. So, do we have any cures for this disease? Dealing with diseases is easy, but the real nightmare begins when you're out of medicine. The problem caused by the shortage of supplies will always continue to accumulate. Only by securing new sources, new sources of supplies can be solved. Can the supplies can be solved? Maybe it is a dramatic problem. Can be solved? Uh, can we solve the problem at its root? Can we solve the problem at its root? Let's get down to business first. Could you go next door and check on this three patients for me? Got it. 
So now I'm a doctor. Wow. You see a bedroom man struggling to breathe along with a bleeding head. Fine. Check condition. This is a severe cold cough. Okay, I couldn't read. Cold meal. You see a child with a pale face and chap leaf. Check, check condition. It seems like he hasn't eaten in a long time. So this will definitely change my mind about going in the sewers. After checking, you see a girl curled up on the bed. Okay. Check condition. Infection caused by the wound. I wonder if there are any antibiotics left. Okay, so so it's like they're showing me that how scarce the supplies are right now. So I have no other choice but to go to the sewers alone. You inform Sherry about the condition of all three patients. Thanks a lot. I hear some noise from the next door. Must be Kane coming back. You can go find him first. I'll check on the rest of the sewer. I mean, patients. Okay, gotcha. Talk to Kane. Come on, boy. You inform Kane about Huey's situation and Alicia's request. The sewers are definitely a dangerous place, but it's true we don't have much supplies left. Even if even if it wasn't for Alicia's request, we'll still need supplies. Wow, what an answer, Kane. You are the forever kind person, the kindest person to nod your head. Yes, now I'm agreeing because I've seen the situation right now in the Fenton Pole. In such a dangerous place, the Ravens can minimize the risk of this operation to the lawyer. And you are an indispensable voice for it. I will also arrange for other members to split up and work with you. That is good news. Like, I'm not going alone. And you are just flattering me. You're just saying I am indispensable. I can die too. I can die in the sewer. It's not like I am like more. Rest up tonight and you can set off tomorrow when you're in the flat state. No matter what happens, always remember to prioritize it. Now you're telling me this, sending me in the sewers like in the unknown and you're telling me to prioritize my state. After Ken left, you spend the night at the ark, you are about to get up. Find you. Okay. Huey, you are there. Fuck you. I'll head into the series to look for resources. Let me know. Holiness of location. Of course. You mark the map with coordinates. We're going to have to put in some hope. This place isn't easy to find. You don't have to worry about that. Oh, you might encounter those uh, cavities, but it'll be fine. You are not weak. There might be some other issues along the way, but I think you should be able to handle them. You have all confidence in No, no. This mission, this mission should be hard for you, right? You will lose, don't you? You won't let their sacrifices be in vain, right? If so, that means real pay. The frown at you would make sense. Oh, you didn't know? I met you before you had to. See, I told you. I told you there is something fishy about the guy. Like this guy knows what the cat is, and there is something known. Perhaps this another scientist who has gone mad from the day. We can only hope this information is I think he is not mad. He is actually telling the truth. I mean, at least some of them. Oh, Chang. Oh, Chang will accompany me. That is good. That is great. But I will get a companion. Nice. Tang, my boy. Tang, what are you doing here? What are you doing here? I heard Kane say you are here to carry out police mission. I'm worried, so I think. Oh, 
this guy is so worried. <laughs> this guy is so worried about he care for me so much. Other than all the radiance. Now he can't find any worries. He left small smile hearing Hank's offer of support. Come find me at the temporary camp when you're ready. Got it, bro. Not much, not much time is left for Hank's support. But uh, talk to Kang. Kang wants to be ready. Okay, let me check my back. I think I'm ready. I will move forward. Okay, no, no. Where is it? Right go there. Okay. This is the right way. Okay, so I was in the right place. Come on, dude. So I'm gonna, I'm gonna eat. Ready. Ready? Let's go. Yeah, I'm ready. I'm always ready. Scream across the pond. Okay, so let me check the map. The map is telling me to go forward. Do I go forward or do I check in the back? That is what I'm thinking. I think I will check. Okay, we are back. Very, very, very. Yeah. Okay, let's do the mission. We did nothing else, we just activated some uh, fast travel points and died twice by very powerful enemies. Okay, Chang is here, let's talk with him. Tane was a steward, this is a subway. If he was until it's reliable, then the supplies are in the underground research facility of Project Pantil, which the Federation established and have died guise of a subway construction project. Other members of the Ravens have already carried to the headed in the subway from the different direction. Let's get moving. We'll need to find the supplies fast to resolve transport struggles. You nodded your head. Okay, talk with. Continue exploring ahead. We have come to a fork in the path. Should we continue forward and take the passage left? Okay, what do we do? I don't know. I will just go with my gut. Let's go with your plan. Dude, I just thought he would tell me to go left, but no, it's telling me to go forward, okay? Oh man, oh man, they're 75! Dude, that's why I died. They're gonna kill me. Get a chance. Man, oh man, oh man. Watch out, more rats. I just somehow survived. Dude. I never thought this guy would be that much dangerous, but I will just use one. Because I have plenty. Okay, where do I need to go? Okay, I need to talk to Tay. Look. Look, it's a dead end here. Let's turn back to the fork. Got it. 
Okay, so I think we need to go left from there. But going straight was not the right choice. Going left it is. Investigate the traces of the It looks like the foot left untouched is on the left. This foot has not gone bold yet. Someone must have must still be active around here. Alicia did mention the ecosystem here being very complex, so we have to be on our third. 